Go. Okay, so this is our urinary anatomy video for ANP2. We have on torso man, the kidneys, and above the kidneys, you can see the adrenal glands. Coming down from the kidneys, we can see the ureters, these cream-colored tubes, and these cream-colored tubes ultimately run down towards the bladder, which we can see on the insert in here. Now we'll switch over and take a look at the parts that we can see inside these what are more reproductive models, but of course they have the kidney or they have the bladder. So here we can see the bladder. The bladder is lined with the mucosa, the inner surface of the bladder. We can also see the detrusor muscle, the muscle that we see, the pinkyish substance running around the outside of the bladder. If we look inside the bladder, we can see the urinal orifice, where our ureter has descended down and is protruding now into the bottom of the bladder. And we can also see our internal urethral orifice, this structure that we can see right here. There would, of course, be another urinal orifice over here on the model in the three-dimensional structure. And the two urinal orifices and the one urethral orifice collectively form a structure called the trigone. So we can see the trigones through those three structures there. The next part we get into is the urethra. We can see the internal urethral orifice here at the bottom of the bladder, and then it descends down. It first of all passes through, in males, the prostate, and this portion of the urethra is called the prosthetic urethra. The next portion it passes through is the urogenital diaphragm, this thin layer of muscle that we can see here, and where the urethra passes through the urogenital diaphragm, it's called the membranous urethra. Finally, the urethra is going to carry on through the penis, and the urethra passing, passing through the penis is called the penile or spongy urethra, and it ultimately ends at the external urethral orifice. Now the female, of course, is a little different. The bladder is all the same, and there's an internal urethral orifice, but the, ureth the urethra in females is simply urethra. It's just this one bit of tube leading to the external urethral orifice. We can also see the internal urethral sphincters located up here near the opening to the bladder, and the external urethral sphincters located down towards the bottom more near the external urethral orifice.